Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you how to test for continuity with a multimeter. So as you can see right here, I have a multimeter. And the first thing that you are going to do is you are going to turn it to the continuity setting. Um, and in this case, that is the ohms setting, which is right over there. That's the ohms symbol. So I'm just going to turn it to right there and that will allow me to test for continuity. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do, I'm just going to get these terminals organized. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to touch the two terminals. Oops, sorry about that. The terminals got caught on the camera tripod. I apologize. Um, so I'm going to touch these two terminals together. And we are going to look for a number that is either zero or really close to zero. So I'm just going to touch them together. And sorry about that. They weren't really uh, touching properly. Um, as you can see, we are getting, you know, 0.6. Um, numbers that point five we are getting numbers that are close to zero so you know it should be zero but if you're getting a number close to zero it might mean that the battery is low um, that the terminals are a bit dirty things like that but you are looking for a number close to zero and when you see either zero or a number close to zero that means that there is continuity so right now the terminals are touching and as you can see it is showing that there is continuity because the number is close to zero so the next thing that you are going to do is you are going to get one end of the thing, the thing that you are testing and the other end of the thing that you are testing. You are going to put one terminal on one end and the other terminal on the other end. And if the number is zero or close to zero, then you will know that there is continuity. So I'm just going to use a car fuse for this example. I'm going to touch one end on one end of the car fuse, sorry, one terminal on one end of the car fuse and the other terminal on the other end of the car fuse. And if the number is zero or close to zero, then I will know that there is continuity in the object or wire or anything that I am testing. So as you can see, I'm touching both terminals to both ends and I'm getting a number that is 0 0.6, 0 0.5. It is close to zero and that means that there is continuity in this car fuse. And that's basically it. You can use um, the, the terminals to test uh, a wide variety of items, wires and objects. Um, the only thing that I recommend is truly be careful with what you are testing. But that's basically it. In this video I have shown you how to test for continuity. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.